Director Paul Sicala is live in downtown Phoenix where all the activities will be going on Super Bowl week. And Paul, it looks like it's already getting pretty busy there. Oh, it's certainly getting busy, especially here where the Phoenix Suns play, where there'll be media on Monday. But the experience of the Super Bowl goes beyond the thousands of dollars that many people pay when they want to actually go to the game itself. If you can't afford those tickets, no worries. There's plenty of opportunities for you as a diehard fan to get involved and get up close and personal with many NFL athletes and truly have that NFL experience. And it's all called the Super Bowl experience. Lights, camera, action. This is footage of last year's Super Bowl experience in LA. And this season, here's a glimpse of what you can expect at the Phoenix Convention Center where it all takes place. Starting Saturday, fans will get to walk around this fun venue to check out NFL memorabilia and even test their skills in certain challenges such as field goal kicks for regular Joe Schmoes like you and me, playing on miniature fields or interaction with guest NFL stars. You're seeing our 500,000 square feet of build out here for the Super Bowl experience that opens tomorrow, 10 a.m. We actually have Zach Ertz, Super Bowl 52 winner, that's going to debut the Vince Lombardi Trophy tomorrow. In addition to seeing displays of every NFL team at the Super Bowl experience on Monday, people can pack the Footprint Center for opening night, traditionally called Media Day, open to fans as well. I mean, a lot of people have come for the fans, because yeah. they're NFL fans, but some people just like to see the spectacle. The weirdos, the people dressed up, <laughs> asking the crazy questions yeah. on purpose to get these weird answers from the NFL athletes. Yeah. I mean, talk about how, in a sense, you know, fans that come here not only get that NFL experience with the players, but they're going to get to see the craziness, the international, yeah. uh, the international media that comes here. People from all parts asking weird questions. And yeah, such. Well, what we like to say yeah. is there's something for everybody for Super Bowl, <laughs> right? Like whether you are tuning in to see the game, which we hope everybody is, but then of course for game day. There's halftime, there's our pregame. Here tonight, you know, for Monday night, for opening night, we'll have not only the players, but fan activations. There's things to do, there's food, there's drink. You can get a cold Bud Light, you can get a cold Pepsi, and just really be here to be a part of the experience. Super Bowl doesn't come around in the city that, yeah. that often, so being able to be in the building and, and be a part of it is something I think people really, really enjoy. Fun, football, and fan frenzy coming your way starting Saturday. Back live here where the Phoenix Suns play, and when I say Saturday, I mean tomorrow. We're talking 10 a.m., just a block away from where I'm standing right now in downtown Phoenix. The Super Bowl experience will open. It is open to all the fans starting Saturday and all throughout all of next week. Now, coming up on News 4 Tucson at 6 p.m., we will continue our in-depth Super Bowl coverage here in Arizona, and I'll catch up with some Tucsonans who are part of the crews that are helping set up and maintain everything for the Super Bowl experience itself. And I'll tell you, it's actually an experience for them as well, being able to work the Super Bowl. Reporting live from downtown Phoenix, Paul Sicala, News 4, Tucson. Looks like it's going to be a fun week. Thank you, Paul.